The Range Trooper. The Imperial expansion requires the settlement of vital operations on remote outpost worlds. These frontier stormtroopers form a backbone of stubborn defence against would-be thieves and pirates. Hello and welcome to the Centaurian's Corner and today we are reviewing The Range Trooper from the Solo movie. And yeah, I mean, I kind of like this character. I think it's quite alright. Uh, unfortunately the Imperial kind of sort of um, entanglement, shall we say, in that movie wasn't that big. But um, we got some new troopers along the way. So we had the patrol trooper and now we're having the range trooper. And he actually looks pretty mint in the box. In the window here, we just see his little blaster. It looks a little bit different to an E11 blaster. And he's got a bit of furry goods and stuff there, but he looks massive. We've got the picture down here in below, below and um, which looks pretty cool as well. It looks like Game of Thrones meets Star Wars. He's number 64. On this side, we've got range trooper and range true just up here and on the back we've got the picture and his bio so without further ado let's just crack this bad boy open right so here he is in his blister pack and we don't get much to see anything else he hasn't got no hidden accessories we've just got his blaster up here but down the bottom we've got a picture of those massive boots down there which look pretty cool so we're just going to put them out First impressions and then take away for his photos and his review. Oh, he feels really hefty, feels really cool. And um, yeah, just really liking him actually. So I'm gonna go away and take some pictures. See you in a moment. So welcome back. Now this guy is phenomenal. At first I didn't think he looked that great to be honest. I was always kind of a bit put off to actually um, purchasing him to be honest. I just always felt a little bit meh with the character. And I don't know why because he looks great. Um, I think I just was a bit put off. He doesn't look very Star Wars-y I think. He just, you know. And um, yeah, I don't like it where they kind of mix with the troopers a little bit too much. But, but getting him out of the packet Wow, I really enjoy this guy. I think he looks fantastic and I really enjoyed him. The only thing I would say he lets him down is probably his paint applications. Um, he probably needs a little bit more scuffing on the on the, on him in general. But yeah, it comes with his one accessory, which is his kind of sort of uh, new kind of sort of heavy blastery kind of shotgun E11 there. Um, it has no paint applications on there. There's no weathering whatsoever. And um, so it just looks a little bit poor. Um, Probably would be nice to have that silver part on there all done. But um, we've got all these extra scopes and everything at the end, and extra stocks and muzzles. So um, and it's done all in a nice black, so can't really complain really. The only thing is, he has got no holster, you can't holster it on him at all. So um, he's going to be constantly holding it. And yeah, sort of um, articulation wise, really, I mean, this guy's kind of a bit of a beast, you know. It kind of reminds me, if you're in from the 80s, uh, the Thundercats, there was like a snow guy and he had like a sort of like a snow leopard sort of cat that he rode on. Um, for some reason, I kind of get that kind of sort of vibe from this guy. I think it's his shoulders with the fur and everything. But um, yeah, head, he can look left and right. He can look down, he can look up. He's not hindered by this sort of like fake fur at all. His arms come up this far. We've got the rotation as well at the shoulder. Got the rotation here at his large kind of sort of uh, cuffed coat the elbows he can come up more than 90 degrees straight away but going to the right it drops down we've got the rotation there in his hands there was a little bit of a hinge inside there but you're not really going to get much of it because the cuffs come out really quite far he's got a rotation that is very lower waist just underneath that kind of belt armor can't go forward doesn't go back at all his legs that's about as far you're going to get them forward and back oh, that far. He's got the upper thigh rotation just inside there. And he has got a single jointed knee. But he can't really use it that much because he can't bring his forward legs forward. He can't really bend back because of this coat. 
that gets in the way. It's kind of like a hard kind of rubber. Uh, but down at the ankles, we've got this kind of sort of like mechanism that comes out this way. There is a slight rock, but nothing to write home about. And yeah, I mean, let's look over the sculpt in general. The helmet looks great. I love this kind of weathering up the top. The helmet kind of looks like a shore trooper crossed with snow trooper, I guess, in a way. And um, yeah, I love the gold kind of visor as well. Sometimes it looks a little bit transparent. Um, got this sort of reminisce of like the biker scout kind of lines at the back there. But yeah, this fur just feels nice. It's not too baggy, it's not too big, and it just sits nicely on there. Um, so yeah, looking at the back, we've got that kind of sort of solo looking s kind of pack thing that a lot of them had, and Rogue One. Um, we've got these bits up here that are not joined to the armour, which goes to the sort of standard office snowtrooper armour at the front. We've got these large pouches onto this sort of like insignia kind of imperial kind of belt that the officers have. We've got these kind of hard bits of armour on the side and communicators. He's got the kind of pencils or maybe bullets at the top here in his top sort of coat. And obviously, yeah, it's trying to give off the coat look as well underneath, going down to this sort of like mirror kind of trench coat look inside looks great it looks fantastic and i love the actual um detailing they put in there it does actually look like a, a fur interior but however it is quite hard and it just kind of keeps its shape we've got these extra harnesses that come down that are just sort of connected at the top of the legs in the side of the skirt and yeah this is where i just think they could have done a lot better if they put a little bit more paint applications on these legs maybe a bit of a tiny bit of a black wash just to bring up the detail because um, they do look like big plastic chunky legs and they need to be a little bit more metal looking but i do actually do love just that kind of sort of a hinge on there you know it just really looks mechanical it looks really nice so we've got those extra little dots there we've got the tubing and the stuff on the back that looks great and um, yeah, just think it looks phenomenal. You know, just unfortunately, just a little bit let down because of the paint application on this guy. But apart from that, yeah, I, I've actually grown to love him. And he's going to sit nicely on my Imperial shelf. So that kind of brings me to the end of the review, really. Um, again, another solo character and another one that you can get kind of discounted. And he's kind of still out there. And um, yeah, just think he just looks great. I think they've done kudos kudos to Hasbro to be on this for this line um, but yeah if you um, want to comment down below if you want to subscribe if you want to like it's all up to you you can follow me on Instagram as well which is in the description down below and I'll see you next time take care